The application in terms of Section 174 of the Criminal Procedure Act is granted. The accused is found not guilty on this charge, and Mr. Malombo is granted indemnity, is not granted indemnity from prosecution. Court will adjourn. We now cross live to our reporter, Vanessa Puna, at the Western Cape High Court in Cape Town. Thanks for joining us. Vanessa, what's the latest on your side? Yes, good afternoon to you. A short while ago, a Judge Jeanette Traverso ruled in favour of the Defence's 174 application for a discharge of the charges against Sri and Devani. Uh, after almost four years, Mr Devani is now a free man. He's been acquitted, essentially, of the five charges against him uh, uh, relating to his wife's murder. Now, joining me uh, to unpack uh, the judgment this morning is legal expert uh, Milton De La Harp, who will just take us through uh, the under three-hour-long judgment given here in the Western Cape High Court which now sees Sri Devani essentially a free man. Milton, when, when Judge Jeanette Traverso made her ruling just now, she did also indicate that the Hindorsha family have appealed uh, for her foreclosure, but she also said that as, a, as having taken an oath that she can't uh, make her ruling based on public opinion and that she has to take all the evidence as it was presented in this courtroom to come to this finding. What exactly did she mean when she said that all the state's witnesses were self-confessed liars? No, basically what she found was that all the witnesses in, in this matter, and especially Tonga, his evidence was of such poor quality that no reasonable court, acting carefully, could have accepted any of those evidence. And, and accordingly, she basically made a finding to say that the evidence was of such poor quality that she can't believe it. Now, uh, not, not a totally unexpected ruling. Uh, earlier in this trial, I did speak to you and you did say that it looked as though, judging by the evidence in this trial, this is the natural conclusion, this is what the judge would have essentially ruled. Now, right from the outset, they had a weak case. The state's case was based upon the evidence of mainly of Tonga, who was a single witness and an accomplice. She had to apply the cautionary rules regarding the evidence of a single witness and an accomplice. And based upon those factors as well, she made the, uh, the finding that his evidence was of such poor quality that she couldn't accept it. What, well, what forward now, Milton, for the defence as well as the state? What options are available at this stage? Well, the matter for the defence has now been finalised. The state can appeal or they can bring an application for leave to appeal, but the likelihood of them doing it is extremely slim, based upon the finding that the court made that the evidence was so weak and the witnesses contradicted themselves in every material aspect that she couldn't rely on any aspect of the evidence from any of the witnesses presented um, by the state. Thank you very much, Milton De La Harp. Just unpacking for us uh, what Judge Jeanette Traverso uh, said in her under three hour long ruling in the Western Cape High Court, which essentially sees Sri and Devani acquitted on the five charges against him. Now, Vanessa, just before we let you go, what was the immediate reaction of Annie's family? Annie's family uh, rushed out of the courtroom too uh, as Judge Jeanette Traverso made her ruling. At this point, we haven't yet managed to secure an interview with them. If you'll look just behind me on the steps of the Western Cape High Court, quite a media scramble as the family came out a short while ago. Um, and, and that would obviously be uh, the question on everybody's lips. How, how do you feel uh, after a four-year-long wait, after your daughter was murdered, and now uh, Sri Devani has been acquitted of these charges? And that, I suppose, uh, is what the Hindorsha family will, will answer to when they're ready to do so. Uh, they've made it quite clear in a media briefing last week as well that they really wanted Tree and Devani to come and testify in his own defence. They wanted to know exactly what happened on November, uh, in November 2010. Uh, and it looks as though after today's ruling, they won't have that opportunity. I've just seen driving past me now the family of Annie uh, Devani driving off away from court uh, in their black vehicle. Clearly not a very happy family at this stage at all. Vanessa, thank you very much for your time.